welcome back to my channel and as you can tell by the title of this video i am starting a new series where i just ask my friends who are doing different courses here in southampton to just sit down and like talk about their course how they got into it how it's been for them so far and what do they think about the course if they have any suggestions for the people who want to join this course here in southampton so for the first guest i have a very special friend anthony francis who is doing his master of science in internet of things so hi anthony yeah. welcome to my channel it's really nice to have you thank you so much for uh, doing this so let's start and like before we go ahead into southampton like could you just share us like background yeah so hi uh, i'm anthony <laughs> i've done a, a btech in computer science in triple it go team so i have a computer science background uh haven't really worked ever i have done one internship in geo but that also wasn't exactly like proper work it was more like mentoring kind of thing so yeah i was I haven't I haven't got too much experience but yeah i did like two projects one of them was in the project one of my projects was a home automation project so since that is related to iot i kind of got interested in that and since this university ended up having that course i applied and it was i think maybe i'd seen one other university in uk which had that course at the iot course nice so like what was your application procedure did you, did you like give any exams or you required to give anything like anything uh, so the thing is with uh, our like my batch like our batch we got lucky we didn't have to give a gre uh, yeah. uh, and also we actually technically didn't even need to give an ielts we could have gone through with just the degree being in, in being taught in english we could have just got through but i did give the ielts and yeah so it, it was pretty like uh, so the ielts was one of the uh, requirements that i did i didn't give the gre it was too tough so i just bothered didn't bother to do it <laughs> and then uh yeah just you have to submit your degree certificate transcripts and all that stuff then make the uh, statement of purpose yeah you have to make that that was a long process it was annoying but yeah i mean i got it done somehow that okay so yeah like the just the basic procedure okay basic procedure yeah uh so where are you like living in the uni halls or i i have chosen city gateway so it's one of the uni halls it uh the main advantage of it that i like i had chosen it as because it seemed like everything is like already there you need don't you don't need to keep track of bills and all that stuff like you can just just pay that amount every at the end of every part like at the end of every term of the contract mm -hmm. so there are like splits of 3 months the total there are four payments mm -hmm. so yeah you just have to pay attention on that you need to keep you don't need to keep track of every bill like this energy bill what whatever else is there so and internet is good we get the uni internet like really nice like 500 mbps plus like good good stuff <laughs> yeah that's true yeah. so and how's the location like what all is accessible from your place yeah so i mean one of the best things is there's a mcdonald's right here like just <laughs> really close so I, if i if i want to get a cheap meal and i'm bored don't want to cook can yeah. just grab a mcdonald's Very and a lot of supermarkets a lot of nice supermarkets nearby like coop tesco express uh then there's a lot of barber shops nearby like like every, uh, i mean i do need a cut but yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah no the mcd thing is actually really good because the delivery charge that they just take yeah in uber eats it's it's insane like <laughs> it like it goes from a 10 pound order to like 16 15 pound order like true, true, true. insane yeah, yeah. So that's there nice so how have you been finding staying away from family and being in a new place uh i mean i haven't really been exploring much to be honest i've been like just going to uni for the lectures and then coming back for december in december i'd like gone to visit some of my family like my aunt she stays in hull so oh, yeah and then i went for a match recently the manchester united versus barcelona game that wow. was in that was in manchester so we took a train stayed in an airbnb it was nice it was I haven't been exploring much, but in general, I'd say like because of like Discord, like me playing games with my friends online and all, like I haven't been missing them that much. But mm -hmm. it's been nice. Like sometimes I feel like, yeah, I mean, you you do miss people if they're not there with you physically, right? So yeah, that, that's, that's all. That. Great, great. So it looks like you've been having a good time in Southampton. Okay, so like uh, now let's move towards the more course related question. That's like much more specific. So, uh, yeah. like you said already that you had Southampton and one other university for this course. Yeah. So, like, why did you choose this, Southampton? 
because i mean the easiest things. easiest solution is the higher rank like like it was like i think in the top 80 or 76 i remember i think it was 76 Mm-hmm. so it was and the other university was in like 150s more than that okay so that was one point one easy point to say and then i feel like like when i saw the like the course uh, structure of this it seemed much more like the structure i guess it in the other it's just felt like there's like so many optional modules you have to decide everything in this the first semester you're like you have three compulsory modules in the next semester you have the flexibility to choose where you want to go into so mm-hmm. yeah Then that's good okay. flexibility yeah mm-hmm. uh so what about your uh, finances uh, did you take a loan a scholarship or anything mm-hmm. else i did not really get any scholarship so i just got took a a, a a student loan uh okay. in icici bank so it was 10.5% the mm-hmm. loan interest rate but mm-hmm. now because of some uh, changes 12% so it's increased up so it's pretty crazy I have to somehow get a job soon but yeah <laughs> so did your department have something called the post grad merit scholarship I uh, no not my department okay. i had seen it it was there in many others but yep. not in the ecs department i don't think it was there okay 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 so like uh, what is your class strength like how many it yeah. would be like maybe for, like what i remember was it was 45 on one of the like i'd seen it on the zoom meeting okay and then Pretty sure max I've seen is fifty. Yeah, I don't think it's gone over fifty ever. So decent. it's not that big. Pretty like decent size. Decent size, yeah. Like, uh, okay, great. Uh, so like, could you just give us an overview of what the syllabus is like and what the assessment structure is in your course? Yeah. So it is like in the first semester, there's like three semesters. Like, it's not the third is a third is not exactly a semester. It's for the project. Yeah. The There's, there's two main semesters. The first semester that's from September to December. That is the three compulsory modules, which are foundation of IoT, uh, then secure hardware devices and IoT networks. So those three courses have their own uh, assessment methods. Uh, the IoT networks and foundations course have the same similar structure: sixty percent exam, forty percent coursework, okay. and the secure hardware one has eighty percent exam and twenty percent coursework. so that was how the assessment was uh i kind of messed up in my coursework <laughs> that i didn't submitted them late so that's why i got some harsh penalties don't do that <laughs> please don't do that uh yeah so that is pretty much. so don't don't take any coursework lightly i guess that's the main learning i've got <laughs> from this same i would agree yeah. like plagiarism <laughs> and everything they're too strict about yeah plagiarism like yeah make sure you're not just copy pasting basically mm. Do some paraphrasing at least. Yeah, not even from your friend, not even from the internet. They can keep a track of everything. Oh, I didn't talk about the second semester. My bad. Uh, there's like lot of lot of uh, optional modules. It's like eight or nine optional modules, and you have to choose four. And so I chose uh, I chose uh, mobile app development, uh, cryptography, machine learning for wireless communication, and open data innovation. so they they are they all have their own assessment skill like you can look up these course it's there on the website like which all are the optional modules and you the assessments like you can you can look them up yeah so like what would you suggest uh, people watching like is it a good idea to choose the subjects that interests you or to choose the subjects which have a lot of scope in the future because you have a mm-hmm. lot of subjects to choose from and just four to choose yeah true uh, i'd say like try to choose some subjects that you know already because some of the course works like you 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 should know some basic background about stuff so you can get through those course works quicker because it's not just about this thing so during this entire course there'll be one module which is research methods mm-hmm. in that they'll be asking you to make reviews and posters for your project and the project plan and all that stuff so that will also be taking a lot of solid amount of time once you start talking to your supervisor about your project and all that mm-hmm. so the pressure from the that thing the dissertation that you have to submit at the end that will catch up to you pretty quickly i'm assuming and what i've heard from my professors so i haven't done anything yet but yeah i'm just assuming so yeah. i'd say i'd say like try to choose at least two subjects which you know already i'd say two or maybe one if you are adventurous mm-hmm. uh try to choose maybe two that you have some background in so you can at least keep up and like, just do the coursework quickly 
you can get get it over with yeah even like in my second sem i mm, the coding part is really easy but they expect us to make this big reports and these mm, it's and the all. report writing that takes so long like oh uh, yeah they're very like particular about it that we want pretty and very crisp and all and that something structured all that stuff so even i'm facing the same thing great so like uh does your course need a lot of self study or just attending lectures submitting everything on time is enough i mean i'd say for the there are like differs for the modules i'd say for different modules it's like like some modules there is a lot of lo- rote learning okay uh in the foundations there was one part which required like it's just a lot of information about sensors how they work mm-hmm. basically a lot of spec specification all that stuff Mm-hmm. and some architecture basics so it's like so it depends on the module so if if the if it's a much more concept driven module i'd say you shouldn't miss lectures especially if you have a professor who doesn't release the recording till the end like i did <laughs> <laughs> so i'd say i'd say attending the lectures will help with that because uh, i mean attending the lectures will obviously like most of the professors that i've met they teach like once you attend the lectures you could understand the concept like you will understand the concept otherwise i mean self study is obviously required for making these course works and like well, like making like the re- independent reading on for papers and all that stuff review making all that so i'd say self study is definitely a major part but if you attend lectures it will make it easier for you to do your exams and course works will be Yeah. Yeah. So coming on exams, how were they? Like, were they completely unrelated to what was taught? Because that's what I faced. I studied so much. <laughs> there was something new in the question paper. So did it <laughs> the same thing. Uh, the thing is, for me, it felt like the the subject matter of like it wasn't that much different, but they tune the questions very well. So like they have like it's like big paragraphs of questions. like big 10 mark or 20 mark questions and they'll have like certain details so you can't just speed through and read it right mm. so that that's where the time constraint comes in so it's uh, just two hours for a 100 mark paper yeah. it's pretty rough we've had one and a half hours for a 100 marks paper no oh one my. i don't think so if yeah. i asked put na kuch something they yeah. so basically you should expect going in like you sh- you are not going to get like 80 90% that you're expecting you like the max i think you should be expecting if you are going into a subject uh, should be like 70 i guess like yeah. 70 would be like an excellent 75 yeah. all that stuff i think 70 plus is distinction yeah I yeah I, yeah and that's also the 70 plus is distinction 60 plus is like merit or something and then yeah then pass yeah. yeah then pass <laughs> yeah so that that's there okay so like now you've had a pretty good uh, experience with the module what do you think uh, you know what sort of background is you know going to perform well in this or you know or which background might struggle a little bit because it's a very uh, space course yeah it is a very um, direct course so like there's a lot of electronics segments and computer like coding in computer science like you need to know those principles but i'd say like i mean if you are as long as you are driven you can learn <laughs> that's a different thing but mm-hmm. i'd say it will be really tough if you don't have like either of those backgrounds okay. it will be pretty pretty tough I, i mean i can't speak because i'm a computer science background so mm-hmm. i can't really talk on that point but i'd say it helps yeah it helps a lot great okay good i am pretty sure i wouldn't be able to do it because i have no idea about all these things even yeah. though this background okay. <laughs> great so like what do you think are the future prospects in uk or in india and what is your plan do you want to go back to india or uh, for me i want to stay here um, okay. i would like to get a job here and for that i i mean i I've, i've talked to like in the career fairs i've spoken to a few of the companies and like company representatives not the companies representatives and yeah for quite a few companies which uh, provide the like the uh, skilled worker visa once uh, after their post graduate scheme so that will be i'm pretty sure you'll have to apply for the postgraduate study visa mm-hmm. and after that they will slowly get you into the skilled worker visa section once you have completed your graduate scheme i guess so that the graduate schemes will be normally for one or two years depending on the company mm-hmm. uh, i guess if you perform really well they can speed that up so that nice. could be an option there were quite a few like uh, high level companies like visa amex all those like microsoft codestone all those all those companies were there so 
quite a few and then uh, it's not only like the coding side like this there were quite a few embedded embedded design companies as well for bays and all that so it's you there'll be companies coming here i'm pretty sure regardless so the option opportunities will always be there mm-hmm. but it's not exactly like a placement you have to apply it's not like a it's yeah. not a placement <laughs> yeah that's there so like in these career fairs did you get a chance to talk about the you know salary range one can expect for a fresh yeah the salary yeah. ranges that i have heard are up 30 like that's pretty low i'd say 30000 to okay yeah it's yeah the minimum that i've heard for the graduate scheme things i was like 30 maybe i i think i had heard like a 28 as well and then there was a it goes to 50 i think 50 to 55 was the max i heard and that was in for visa i think Oh, okay yeah. maybe you get promotions fast and like you know salary yeah I'm all not... that stuff so yeah i also have no experience so i can't really speak on that yeah uh, exactly so good maybe like we'll get in touch when you get placed this yep. like, how are you personally finding this course like is it what you expected less than you expected uh, more than i'd expected? say the best part that i have found till now good professors if you like talk to them it can actually like they can really help you out with the like understanding like if it's not like just like in i, I mean that's not to flame india here but my college didn't really have too many good professors but it was like maybe i had like two proper good professors uh, so it's good to like know that if you ask questions they will respond <laughs> so yeah that's one big thing second big thing the labs are really nice like good big screens <laughs> it's like easy yeah. easy to work on uh like good high quality facilities and all that stuff classes are pretty tough but the the main problem with this is that the exams really pushed me down it scared me <laughs> so yeah plus i think our batch what we went through covid we totally lost touch of like studying for a proper properly study. writing exams like we only yeah. used to type and all yeah type and like I mean, who am i kidding kon kitna padhta tha kon copy karta tha kon nahi copy karta tha so yeah i think that is a major factor because like everyone who i talk to who you know just got out as a fresher btech or whatever and like skip mm. or masters everyone faced the same thing the environment of plus the environment here is so scary they made it seem like you're giving iit j or something like did you see it is it is ekdam like you have to like you go here put your bags ye yeah. yeah, sab sab nikalo uh, yeah. wallet nikalo dikhao ek kuch nahi hai na iske andar ye sab <laughs> Just, it is like yeah, casio calculators and our yeah. students slip i to sign over yeah that was more scary i like lost touch of <laughs> all that what is so mm. yeah that's there writing a proper exam instead of just sitting on your screen <laughs> yeah scanning and uploading later <laughs> <laughs> yeah and that's there so like are you doing any part time did you like get time to... no no i have been i've been too lazy <laughs> to do <laughs> part time i have just been like playing tennis here and there and yeah Yeah, oh I like that honesty <laughs> <That's cool. laughs> yeah so yeah i mean that that's it that's all i had to ask and if you have any parting advice you would want to say keep in mind uh, that study this course yeah <laughs> i'd say like the, the like the amount of resources that you have access to is a lot here yeah. i mean if you if you are like down with it like if you really want to grind i think you can do so and also you can also be lazy like me and roam around <laughs> like good go play tennis <laughs> so you can fix your you can yeah, i think you can do it like it's not like an impossible task definitely focus yeah. in and do the do the stuff correct very very well said focus <laughs> is very important here because it's easy it's very easy to get distracted being yeah. a happy country so yeah thank you so much antony for everything and just like for being here and sharing your experience and i hope to see you soon maybe when you've got a nice job with a <laughs> nice salary we'll definitely hopefully thank you so much guys for watching this video and i'll be sharing antony's linkedin down below he is not very active but he has promised me that he will try to get back to any messages that he gets so uh, thank you so much once again and um stay tuned for the next video i have some very interesting and cool degrees lined up and uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next video bye